It's a very intuitive application that pilots can use in the cockpit. You can immediately, just by playing with it, you can understand how it works. It's got great functionality. All right, so this is our new, pretty exciting, very powerful application. Uh, we've done a lot of work to make a very flat set of menus. Very simple to use, very practical to use here in the cockpit. And by flat, we mean that it hasn't got loads and loads of layers and screens and options. Right, everything on my wingman can be accessed via this function wheel. You don't have to go in a lot of very deep menus to actually get there. Um, let's look at some charts. Right here, this is our, our chart, this is geo-reference, this is our airplane actually as it is. If you look outside, you can see actually the mountain range out to the left that we're doing. So we can refuge straight up north. Uh, or we can turn around and actually have the, uh, the reference with the airplane. We have full weather charts and weather maps. You can see we have actually no weather displayed anywhere. Um, and if you look outside, you can see we, we are full VFR right here. You can see very easily how to change it from a one screen presentation to two screen to even a three screen presentation. You can immediately, just by playing with it, you can understand how it works. Um, let's go down to procedures. Uh, we, we're going to want to select an airport. We have just departed from uh, Albuquerque's Double Eagle. So we'll put in uh, AAEG, which is the uh, label. And you can actually see us flying off to the west here. Okay, uh, so these are geo-referenced as well. Yeah, the charts are geo-referenced. Anything with a green block around them uh, is indicative of a geo-reference, and your plane will uh, show your actual track and your position. When we land, and we can show you this during the landing or during um, when we're taxiing, we actually have geo-reference taxi through the entire chart, all taxiways, all the way back to the ramp. Very, very powerful. Pretty useful if you are unfamiliar with the airfield. Oh, field. very much. Say we want to go over to Albuquerque Double Eagle. Uh, you can actually do info, you can do weather, you can do your fuel costs, and you can do anything nearby so we can actually look and find uh, any other airports. For example, from here nearby, uh, nearby Double Eagle is of course going to come up Albuquerque International, which is right next to Double Eagle. So if you need to divert or need to look for other options, especially if you look at some of the fuel prices over here, you could go to another airport if you want to. You have all the information and all the frequencies that have to go with it. All your runway information, all your nav aids, down at the bottom. Comes up in the flight plan. All right, we can say direct two down here. And now if we go back to our charts, There we are, loaded. Right over to Double Eagle. And if you wanted to add a waypoint to that, can you just touch on yeah. that? Yeah, so we can touch on the screen. Drag it. It'll look at the closest waypoint. If we can't find one, we can actually add a GPS waypoint. And there we go. I think that people within 15 minutes of turning it on, they'll feel comfortable using it in the cockpit. It's that intuitive.